different colors. Assalamu alaikum. Welcome you to eSafe Science. Today we are going to study about the properties of metals and non-metals. These properties can be categorized into two. Physical property and chemical property. Physical property means the properties can be observed without making any changes in the composition in the substance. If we consider the physical properties of a metal or non-metal, we can observe properties like the physical state. The physical state of a substance can be stay in three states, solid, liquid or gas. Another physical property, the texture, the appearance, the color, the odor and conductivity of electricity, conductivity of heat, density, malleability, ductility, such properties we can observe in substances those are physical properties and the chemical properties can be observed when a substance react in a chemical reaction a new substance form the composition of the substance change there the electronic configurations change electron exchange take place in the chemical reactions then only we can observe the chemical properties now let us discuss about the physical properties we have already known about the first 20 elements in a periodic table let us see them now here you can see left side are metals right side are non-metals between right side and left side. In the middle there are two elements silica and boron. They show the properties between metals and non-metals. They are called metalloids. Let us observe how the metallic properties and the non-metallic properties. Then let us see how the physical state of these metals and non-metals differ. Now we can see the lithium, beryllium, sodium, magnesium, aluminium, potassium, calcium. These metals are exist in the solid state in room temperature and other than these we often use some other metals like iron, copper, zinc, silver, gold, all these metals are in solid state. But only one metal exists in the liquid state that is mercury. Here you can see the mercury. None of the metal is not exist in the gaseous state in room temperature. Okay, next to that, let us see how the physical state of non-metals now you can see here carbon, phosphorus, sulfur, these are non-metals. They are exist in the solid state in room temperature. Other than this, iodine is a non-metal. It exists in the solid state in the room temperature. Then in the liquid state, there is a non-metal exist in the liquid state in room temperature that is bromine and the other non-metals here all these noble gases they are in the gaseous state in room temperature these noble gases are monoatomic gases and 
ऑक्सीजन नाइट्रोजन क्लोरीन फ्लोरीन ऑल दिस नॉन मेटल्स आर एक्सिस्ट इन द गैस स्टेट दे आर इन द डायटमिक मॉलिक्यूल्स देन दिस टू एलिमेंट्स दे आर मेटलॉइड्स दिस मेटलॉइड्स आर इन द सॉलिड स्टेट इन द रूम टेम्परेचर to the next let us see about the appearance of these metals and non metals okay now we can see in the appearance of these all these metals are showing a common property in the appearance what is that all the metals even they are in the solid state or liquid state all the metals are shiny this property is called the metallic luster most non metals not showing the luster they are dull but iodine and graphite has the luster property okay let us discuss some other physical properties in another way metal shows a special physical property sonorous sound when a metal fallen down the sound we hear last for a moment this type sounds are called sonorous sound it is a special property for all the metals let us examine that here can you see there are several metals they are in different colors same size sound what is the common property the sound last for a moment that is sonorous sound okay so this property is special for metals but none of the non metals shows the sonorous sound the next property we are going to examine is conductivity of heat okay let us observe this experiment here i have bought three spoons in same size but the material they are made up of are different wooden spoon metal spoon plastic spoon same size solid wax kept in the other end all these three spoons are kept inside the hot water and now you observe what's happening there the solid wax kept in the metal spoon melting why the heat is conducted through the metal spoon from the hot water to wax what happened to the solid wax on other spoons no changes why heat is not conducted through the wood or plastic so the conclusion is metal conduct heat if we talk about the conductivity of electricity all the metals conduct electricity but in the non metals except graphite all other non metals are electrically insulators next is malleability all the metals are highly malleable malleable means can be beaten into thin sheets or plates but non metals are non malleable non metals cannot be beaten into sheets or plates another common property of metal is ductility ductility means can be drawn into thin wires we often use copper wires we know the wires now we can summarize the physical properties of metals and non metals through this table hardness metals are very hard except sodium and potassium non metals are not hard except diamond luster all metals have luster 
Dull metals have no luster except iodine and graphite. State Most of the metals are solid state except mercury. Non metals are exist in solid, gas, liquid, all the three states. Conductivity Metals are good conductors of heat and electricity. Non metals are insulators except graphite and gas carbon. Metals are ductile except zinc, antimony and arsenic. Except zinc, arsenic, antimony. Non-metals are non-ductile except carbon fiber. Metals are highly malleable. Non-metals are non-malleable. Density. Metals are high denser except sodium and potassium. Except sodium potassium. Non-metals are low denser except diamond. Diamond is the substance in the highest density. The properties so far we have discussed can be summarized through this table.